Hello. 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 I should put my computer down. Yes, you should put your computer down. This should be live. Oh, we are to. we are testing something very, very new. We think it's working. Hopefully it's working. Hopefully it's working. We think there's going to be a bigger delay than normal, which really, when it's all kind of ticking over, is not a problem. Um, I'm just joining to see if I can watch it. Right. I don't, I don't think it's working. Hold on. Be I'm here. Do you? Oh, right. Okay. It is working. Yeah. Cool. So basically, we've got a, oh, not a new camera. We're trialing a new use of our camera to use our SLR rather than our iPhones this week, which yes. is kind of exciting. However, it, the balance has all been tipped because a bit like Ant and Deck, when they always stand in the same place, and I mean, right, right next to all the TV programs, Ad and I, you may have noticed, always sit in the oh, same position. Oh, has it just gone dead? No, it's two people watching. No, people watching. Um, we always sit in the same positions. And because of this camera not being a flip version of us, we've had to change seats and I feel a really bit weird sitting on the left-hand side when usually I sit on the right-hand side. Yes. Right, um, I need to do some stuff. If you can see us and it's all sounding fine, could you probably give us a few thumbs well, up? Well, Amy said hello. Hello, Amy. I was just emailing you, Amy. Yeah. So Amy says hello. Fab. Fab, fab, fab. It is working. Long story short, yeah, as Emily said, we've had to do some technical gubbins. We just wanted we wanted the quality to be better. That's why we're doing this. There's no other reason. So this big square you can see here is a ginormous light. Yeah, right we're going to move next week, not to have yeah. the window behind. Basically, we're more comfortable outside, as you probably guess, as we work in the outdoors. Yeah. And throughout the summer, when we did these um, asking experts, we were outside in in the, in the sunshine. It was lovely, and we've had to move in in just admit defeat. The weather has got the best of us, the dark has got the best of us, and we're in our living room right now, and this is not ideal. So we're just having to play to make sure that we don't look so dark and dreary. I'm doing some tweaky stuff. My computer's having an absolute panic attack. I think you, we just carry on, you lead, and then if I need to tweak and adjust, I can. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. So, hello everybody. <laughs> hello. And for anyone who's new, again, we've had another massive influx this week of new people, haven't we? Stop looking, don't worry about it, so I'm all safe, if not. <laughs> yeah. and new influx of new people, so a massive welcome. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm Emily, and this is Alan. Hello. Again, I think I've said hello about 20 times. I'm a little bit nervous about the tech today, but we're rolling with Worst it. Worst case scenario, we quit this tech I know. and we go if back to If all of this goes wrong, I've got my phone here, which is what we normally do ask an expert on, Absolutely. so it's not a problem. It should we're ready be to okay. Go. Oh, swig your beard just in case you're a bit nervous. Quality drinking tonight. <laughs> so, yes, um, we are the founders of The Outside Bride. This group is growing from strength to strength, and we are loving seeing everything that everyone's posting, especially this week. There's been some really nice posts about what people are up to, and um, yeah, how's it all going? We're getting into wedding fair season. Um, has anyone been to any fantastic new fairs? There was loads of oh, wedding last fairs weekend, last weekend. It was mm. shock a block, wasn't it? We didn't get to any last week, but everywhere we drove, there was a sign saying wedding fair here. Yeah, yeah. One of the other groups we, I mean, had literally like I don't know wedding fair after, and that was just local to us. So yeah. imagine that like spread across the country. There was it was a huge wedding fair weekend. It was, it was. Yeah. Have we got anything to say this weekend? Or anything that's happened, I don't know, maybe the last 12 hours? Well, we have anything that's happened in the last 12 hours. Are you talking about the pressing news? Is this cryptic the pressing news? It's not that cryptic, is it? It's well, no, I thought that was a cryptic clue to me to talk about it. So. <laughs> well, well, you can't then go and talk about it. And Emily's talking about the planning session, so it's literally gone live in the past hour. We're so, so excited. If you're on the mailing list, you should have just got an email. Oh, I haven't like... had to press go yet. I was too busy. You, you told okay. me to go. You're about to receive an email from us letting us know that all the details and what you need to do. So if you are interested in the planning session, they are now live. live. And what I thought I was going to do today as well, just because I know we've been talking about it lots, and you probably have six of the team of us here yes. talking about it. However, just as an overview, we have now on the page on the website put down all of the modules to let you know what we're going to be talking about. So I thought I would quickly, just now as I'm here, run through what the six months of modules are going to talk about. So yeah. month one. Month one is called Congratulations, You're Engaged. Yay. Yay. And that week, that month, sorry, we're going to be talking about everything you need to do in the very early stages of your wedding planning from... Um, picking wedding style and theme, 
to choosing your date and who your wedding party is going to be and setting a bu that all-important budget and how to allocate money and what things you should be allocating more for and less for depending on what your, your style is going to be and also how to find the perfect venue. Hi Natasha. Hi Natasha. You're finding the perfect venue because that is the big thing. Once you have your venue set, everything else can fall into place. So that's module one. Module two is going to cover us oh, working with suppliers, so people like us. Um, it's going to be your contracts and deposits, public liability, all those insurances and stuff, booking your ceremony, what your ceremony will entail and what you need to do in the lead up to your ceremony, event timelining and project planning for things you're going to have to get done in the next block of time for, from the start to the end of your, of your um, planning journey. Module three, we've called event infrastructure. So it'll include power, lighting, water, heating, access, vehicles on site, licenses, catering, bars, and temporary structures. Modules. Including bell tents and temporary Inclu structures. Well, actually, that's in the next one. Oh, is it? <laughs> Have you made <laughs> no. module seven Mo bell tents? <laughs> module four, month four, is going to be the fun stuff. What we call the fun stuff. We're going to talk about decor and stationery, signage, music, flowers, backdrops, and entertainment. Month five, module five, we've called the bits you might, might not have thought of. So we're going to include um, your contingency plans, adverse weather conditions. That's not just cold and wet. That's for super hot like we've had this summer. Yeah, funnily enough, we met, um, can I, oh, yeah, feel free. Can I, yeah, we, I met someone very recently, a supplier, who uh, we got chatting at a bell tent job and I got talking about the outside bride, the blog site, yeah. as we do. Yeah. And she makes, long story short, she makes fake cakes, right? Which at first I'm like, fake cakes, what? But then I started to think about it. And we had a massive conversation in the summer about stopping your cake melting yeah. on your wedding day. And then all of a sudden this fake cake thing sort of sat well with me. And she, according to her, I don't know the detail, but the fake cakes, fake cakes, fake, fake cakes are slightly cheaper than normal cakes. Look, I'm sure that I'm sure Wait, someone's true. But then they take that out yeah. the back and bring you out a tray bake. Tray so bake. the fake cake can't so you, go you off get or the, melt. You get the grandeur and scale of a lovely artistic cake yeah. and, and, and the impression of the cake. But obviously you don't have the cost of the ingredients of the actual cake. So it's a controversial one because some people want an actual it's, I think cake. it's very controversial, but, but if, I get it. If you yeah. were having a hot summer like this year and you were in a marquee and it was 50, 60, 70, 80, you know, both... Uh, and, 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 and you know that your buttercream is going to be sliding off the cake. It's lovely to have a centerpiece there that you can have out all day and then not actually having to worry about cutting it. And uh, it's let's let, let, everyone has a cake. I believe most people have a cake. But they're not as important for everyone as they are for some people. No. So I think it's fab. We I, we have actually asked her to write a blog post for the outside. Yeah, I think it's an interesting. One so it fingers crossed she does. And, you know. So anyway. Yeah. Anyways, so sorry. the rest of the topics that will include yeah. So contingency plans, adverse weather for hot and cold, eco friendly wedding choices, coping with wedding stress, and that includes family stress and making sure you're having a decent relationship with your partner throughout this because it's quite a lot of stress and pressure and accommodation options. So I've segued us into that a little bit. Accommodation Boom. options. And then lastly, module six. There's got to be something one, in it for us. The final furlong, the final preparations. We're going to cover the set, da set up, take down plans, access onto site for the get in, um, your on day team, who you've got in place on the day, what to do when things go wrong, survival kits, and then the clear down after the event. So Fantastic. within that, that's quite a lot of content there. Um, I said we covered bits and pieces throughout this, but it's just to have it in one place for you um, to make sure that you um, have it as a reference. Once you once you joined up, that um, reference is there for you for the entire length of your day with us. Um, there are downloads, there are check sheets, there are blog posts, we've videos. Done, there are video tutorials from us. You get to see our lovely faces every week, um, and that is put to you every single week in every single month that we are running this. Um, Speak the planning session. So we hope you can join us. Um, like I said, Alan said the page is now live. Boom. Um, boom. Let's hope the tech doesn't fail us. Yes. Now for, so if it does, are we well, I, 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 it's one of those things. I really wish I could explain how much techie stuff we've had to do with this new setup and with the new planning sessions going live. It's quite a lot for, for us. No pressure. No pressure. Um, so we, if, it, we, if you do join and it's not working. Please be gentle. We're pretty confident it is going to yeah. work. We put quite a lot of effort into it, but just drop us a message and we'll fix it. Yes, please do. So we've opened up the doors today. The doors are open to take memberships. <laughs> and today, um, which is fab. 
Um, there is, if you join up today, there is obviously the early bird incentive. If you are one of the first 25 to sign up, you can receive a complimentary half hour chat with ourselves to talk about any aspect of your wedding planning, be it, be it if you're in the early stages or halfway through or the end, we can help you run through any kind of nitty bits. N yeah. Nitty bits? Nitty gritty. Nitty gritty that you want to talk to. So just interrupting again. Yeah, please do. So I keep looking down here to make sure everything's working right. But not only that, I'm noticing how bad my beard is. And it's quite... I don't know, it's yeah. not my style actually, I'm more of the tidied up round here and sort of just a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of the shape here, so uh, I'm going to go and get a haircut. Okay, well. do that. Right, so that, that's our, our sales pitch over, and um, please, please, please do feel free to check out the website, it's www.theoutsidebride.co.uk, and all of that information is out there laid out for you to have a read of and for you to join up and say hello to us. Um, aside from that, topic-wise for this week... I've got one little one I was going to talk about. Is there anything you no, want to do? I've got any questions going on at the moment. No, so we've got, we've got a few watchers tonight. Hello, watchers. Hello, watchers. So if anyone's got any questions, feel free to type them up. Or just send some love our way, because we love that as well. Um, why don't you crack on with what you're thinking? Mine was only a very... someone will write something up, then we can... Yeah. Uh, Mine was a it. very, very small one this week. But um, So we obviously love this group, and we are members of shed loads of other groups, both supply on the supply side and bridal, bridal side on Facebook. And I, I just like to, to keep my toe in just to see what people are talking about, what kind of trends are in there and what people are doing and so what their, their their pain points are with their own planning so we you know, we can start to tailor what, what we're thinking about and talking about. And an interesting one popped up in another wedding group from a bride who was um, quite surprised at the price of ceremonies. Now she's having a registrar and it was the registrar costs that were skyrocketing and she couldn't believe she was spending nearly £800 on this particular... I don't, I don't know where she was in the country whether it was take, going to her venue or any of the in-between. But it was an interesting one because um, the conversation went along and people were putting their various prices and stuff on their registrar costs. And then somebody piped up about um, go with a celebrant because a celebrant would be much cheaper for you in the long run. Which is great. Now, we love celebrants, absolutely. We, before we say anything else... Hello, celebrants. Hello to all the There's celebrants watching today. Yeah. We know there are lots of you in here. Um, and it's great. And we love, because obviously the, the crux of outdoor weddings, especially having an outdoor ceremony, is that a celebrant is the type of person who will be able to conduct your ceremony and give you that lovely feel and... Yeah, and yeah, yeah because let's be honest, sorry, just recap. One of the many reasons we get married outdoors is because we can have what we want, where, where we, we want, want, how we want. And a celebrant is an absolutely keen, integral part to achieving that, you know, fact. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And, and we've discussed this many weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks, with the fact that um, in order to have an outdoor wedding service, you still need to do the paperwork side of it, depending whether whether you care if it's just the paperwork or that legal ceremony is important to you too, it really doesn't matter. But ultimately, to have a outdoor wedding ceremony, you still have to do the paperwork side separately. We know that. The legal so. part. Um, but something that... I can't name names or anything like that, but it was interesting how the, the word cost came in. So saying it's it's a cheaper way to, and really shouldn't be down to cost because ultimately it's what you want on the day. And actually, what, what wanted to sort of really flag in this conversation was the fact that yes, it's a bit might be cheaper, but you still have to factor in that you will still have the costs involved of a registrar, whether you want to have a lovely syrup service or not. You will still have the cost of registrar. And it's a, it can be a little bit misleading because in some counties that might cost £50. I know for a fact in Hampshire it's still a minimum of £200 for the for the service and, and getting the paperwork done. So factor in with your budgeting, and we said we're going to cover this in the, in the planning sessions as well. When you're thinking of the cost of the ceremony and you're looking at the cost of a celebrant, and it doesn't matter what that celebrant costs because that's fantastic. That's choose who you want, who's going to be the best ceremony. Don't it's what you want. Yeah, don't what don't you look want. at, or oh, they're, they're 50 pounds cheaper than that person. Talk to that person and get to know them. If you see them at a wedding fair, if you see them at another wedding, get to know them because they're going to ultimately get to know you and conduct this amazing service for you that's bespoke to you. But please factor in that the cost of getting married does vary as well because you still have to give notice. And usually that's about £35 per person to give notice. You still have to have the ceremony. And it all depends on where you have that ceremony. So if you go to the registry office, that sounds fantastic. But that you may be restricted to what's... Because they're obviously different size rooms and stuff. Look into the detail of what that's going to cost. And make sure that when you're doing your budgeting, include that alongside your celebrant's cost. Because mm. I felt that the conversation this week 
it didn't really get across the fact that yes it could be cheaper or better value I'd like to say better value not cheaper yeah we don't say cheaper do we? just remember as with everything there's always a hidden cost if you go that way then you still need to pay and get that legal ceremony wrapped up and look at the cost of that as well to, to make sure that you're budgeting accordingly you obviously don't I, get a short I wonder, shot shot. we might have to put a poll in actually I'm <laughs> curious um because like we had a church wedding, we're you know absolutely fine, and then we went to our field with our marquee for our uh, reception, our wedding breakfast. We still call it wedding breakfast. Is that still the thing? I know it's called that, but do we still call it that? So I wonder how many people are going down the legal ceremony because they have to, legal ceremony because they want to, and then church wedding yeah. I might stick a poll in actually I'm just curious I'd like to know the breakdown and the, the, the important thing to remember is none of that is wrong yeah um, nothing and wrong. actually if you want to have a, uh, the legal ceremony with a registrar in a registry office that's absolutely fantastic and, fun, and good for you as well if you just see it as a piece of paper signing then that's absolutely fine too yeah. um, ultimately you get to say the words and if you get to go with a celebrant you get to say the words twice which is always lovely yes. and um, just, just to really confirm that, that love between a couple I love you. Job on. <gasps> right. Oh dear okay. me. Right. Has anybody got anything for us this week? Anyone at all? It's been very quiet on the actual lives of the questions, hasn't it? We're getting stuff. Th yeah, we, people, we know week. people are watching. We get stuff throughout the week, but uh, we don't get many questions on the night. But um, I know last week's video had nearly two hundred views in yeah, the end, indeed. approaching two hundred views. So we know people are watching them. That, thank you very much. Um, it wasn't meant as uh, kind of funny as that sounded. So, yeah, no, thank you for watching. And also, if you've got any... Amy, church for me. My dad is the minister, so dad is marrying me. Oh, so that's so exciting. That's very cool. So who's walking you down the aisle then? Or is he walking you down the aisle as well? Oh, wow. Um, that, that's very cool. Actually, we, funny we went enough, to a wedding, we, didn't we? We, we Hannah been was to, the yeah, same. A friend of ours, Hannah. Who walked Hannah down the aisle? Did her mum do it? I don't her mum did. Her mum did. And then her best friend, one of her best friends, sang Journey, Don't Stop Believing at like, the front. It was it was very, very cool. And then the marquee was in, in their the back garden in, in the, the vicarage. vicarage. It was yes. Very lovely. Amy, that sounds absolutely fab, actually. So So another thing we want to say is regardless of asking an expert, and we know you pop your questions into here throughout the week as well, if you've got any particular um themes and stuff you want us to start covering we've done it a few times in this group where we have brought in suppliers who are separate to us to talk about their particular field we've had belinda was a good example mm. a celebrant came in and talked about yes, what did. you need for uh, available on youtube or in this group if you want to go and find it <laughs> it's not so salesy at all, that's not salesy <laughs> that's just so you can go and have a look at it <laughs> Funny. Um, but if no money changes hands on that. People just go and watch it. Anything you're particularly interested in finding out a little bit more about, or we can, we can start to think as we come up towards the autumn time as well, do let us know because we're happy. To, we have a wealth of supplies. Here's a question Where are you in your planning? Because obviously, we're now end of summer, mm. even though it was scorching today. It was down here in Hampshire. End of summer, slow run up to Christmas. Is this a quiet period of planning at home? So with regards to inquiries, are sort of tick along <coughs> all year round for Bay Lily Bell Tents, and we do see a peak around Boxing Day, Boxing Christmas, Day. as people are off work. But just wonder where you are. Are you like a, in this laissez faire world of, well, it's okay, I'll start thinking about it in January for those getting married next summer? So, uh, that as well, with a flip round at the bottom of the aisle. Nice. Fantastic. I like so, that. yeah, so just wondered, you know, if anyone wants to comment where they are in their planning, that's also, we just love, we're just curious, really. Yeah. Love to know. And we're getting more and more more brides in as well, because, we, again, we've started putting, um, we don't restrict anyone from coming into this group, but we've started putting questions just to see if you are married already, getting married, or you're a supplier, we just love to know. And actually, the last sort of 20, 25 people coming through the doors this week have all been brides. So it's been all oh, Andrews. Must keep saying they're brides. We've had a few, had a few, few, few men in here as well. Rooms. So welcome to all of them. And you. anyone who has answered the question of are you getting married? Are you married? Are you a supplier? We're just curious, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> well, it's quite, well, it doesn't tickle me that some people don't answer it or they answer it cryptically. But yes, fab. Welcome, um, welcome, welcome. everyone. Uh, lastly, uh, Hannah, our lovely Hannah, has put a blog on this week. Today, today, all about foraging. So... We have, I know there's some lovely brides in here who are already foraging for their weddings. Um, feel free to check it out. There's who's our, who's our queen of foraging? Is that Charlotte? Charlotte. Yes, I, th I thought she might be watching actually. But um, Charlotte, she put some pictures up last week. Uh, funny enough, I just, they appeared in my timeline. It's a great time of year to them. getting out and doing stuff like that. Well, so we, we went out last yeah, week. We did. This is coincidence. This we um, I don't know exactly that should be in focus. 
but we went out with the kids foraging for some fur coats. We promised Ben, our three-year-old, we'd go and get some. And they've all been opening and drying. We had a there. proper old hoard of um, sweet chestnuts and we've Summer got some pine cones and stuff. So actually, if you're going for that kind of thing, now is the time to get out there. And with every time I say that, like, make sure that if you're going somewhere that's private land, make sure you get permission from the landowner before you start taking stuff. Yes. Right. Right. I think we're going to call it a night. I, it sounds really stupid. I've got to work out how to end it because I've changed my screen. Normally, you just press end on the phone. But it doesn't quite work like that. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I will get you to sitting on this side view by next week, I'm sure. I know, I know. Um, if, if anything goes wrong, thank you very much. Otherwise, we're actually going to be here for about another 30 seconds as we work out what's going on. So, uh, anyway, hover. Oh, no, I found a button. I found a button. Fair well, thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.